everyone, and welcome to First Look. It's Friday, so once again, it's Assignment America Day. This week you chose as the story the 95-year-old college graduate. So I went to Hayes, Kansas, and I talked to her. This is a picture of her. Her name is Nola Osh. It's O-C-H-S, Osh. She was actually on the Today Show earlier this week, and they pronounced her name wrong. <laughs> Ox or something like that. They also said that she was born in 1912. She was actually born in 1911, but I digress. It's a good show. Um, she's, a, she's graduated from college this Saturday, and um, I went and talked to her, and uh, she's just a joy to be with. I'm going to play you a little sound bite here. I'm still working on the story, as you can tell. When they found out that she had um, gone to the school, originally enrolled in this school in 1930, she took one class in 1930, so 77 years later, basically, she's finishing. They didn't make her pay the enrollment <laughs> fee because she'd already been a student once in 1930. So let's listen to Nola a little bit. They thought they were dealing with a ghost. I'm thinking, oh, my God. This is Jolene. This is her uh, advisor. I just say Nola is the poster child of a lifelong learner. I feel proud of this apartment. She's, uh, she lives in her own dorm. She's got a dorm room. She was willing to stay with some uh, kids, but they actually found her a room where she didn't have to stay with anybody that was 80 years younger. Uh, you can see her in class there. Uh, kids love her. Actually, this girl here, she's graduating with this girl who also happens to be her granddaughter. Uh, can you imagine what that must be like? I got a little sound bite from the granddaughter I'll play for you here. Even I skipped class, which I felt terrible about, you know, my grandmother being in class. I didn't know yeah. she was skipping. I thought she had a legitimate skip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I guess uh, the most interesting thing is what she plans to do now that at 95 she's going to graduate from college. Uh, we'll talk about her future plans coming up on the, the CBS Evening News tonight on CBS, not the Today Show.